Rondo against Fisher. Pulls back, jump shot at the buzzer, won't go. And the third quarter will come to an end. The Celtics were down 17 in the first half, down 12 at halftime, and they'll head to the fourth quarter. Down six is the Lakers' Kobe Bryant having one of those games, Mark. Well, absolutely not shooting the type of percentage that he would love to shoot, but finding a way to will the basketball in until he gets hot. This is a big-time shot, gets the defense in the air, knocks down a dagger jump shot. Lakers up by six. 25 for Kobe. And this presentation of the NBA Finals on ABC continues after this message and a word from our ABC station. Welcome back to Boston with Doc Rivers. Other than some tough shots made by Kobe, your defense making a stand. What's working? Well, our defense is, is cracking right now. That's what we have to do. Uh, offensively, we're doing all right. We, we got some shooters off the floor with Paul in foul trouble. Kevin needed a break. Uh, Ronald's doing a great job right now running the show. You are not pleased with your bench in the first half. What do you think of that quarter? Much better. Energy. They're just playing hard, you know, and, and it works. Next shot. All right, Doris. As the bench helping out in that third quarter, cutting the lead in half from halftime. As Tony Allen had six of those ten points, Rasheed Wallace helping on the boards. Uh, the Lakers still have the lead by six as he head to the fourth. You know, we talked so much about the Celtics' resiliency this year and how they struggled through injuries and inconsistent play to get that fourth seed and make it to the finals. Lakers did the same thing. They didn't finish the season well either. They were four and seven their last 11 games. Phil Jackson said as they headed to the playoffs, this team still has some issues, but they have shown great resiliency, especially the way they bounced back that disappointing loss in game two. They've been very strong here tonight. And we'll have a jump ball. And I thought Rondo right there should have turned the corner and think and score. It's gonna open up his passing lanes more. That time I thought he came up think and pass. Rondo's taken eight shots in the game. He said one of the keys for game two was how aggressive he was. That Danny Ainge told him, be aggressive, look for your shot. He took 18 shots in game two. Doc Rivers got to be satisfied right now being down six going into this fourth quarter. You talk about, if you said to him, well, KG has 19 points, he'd be excited. The problem is that Rondo Pierce and Allen have 19 also combined. Tony Allen to Glenn Davis. It's a four-point game. Allen and Davis again providing the energy off the bench. Shannon Brown and Jordan Farmer are the backcourt right now for the Lakers as Kobe Bryant getting that early fourth quarter rest. And a foul is going to go, I believe, against Paul Pierce. Pierce has not been able to get anything going. That's his fifth foul. He's just two of nine from the field. He's played sporadic minutes because of the foul problems. Two of them jostling for position. Pierce is the one that got caught, and he'll sit down, and Ray Allen will return. And Kobe Bryant comes in for Ron Artest. So a quick rest for Kobe Bryant. Well, and that's because Pierce goes out. That's Artest's matchup. And I feel for Paul Pierce, because to me, post play is so hard to judge. Rasheed Wallace upset. As he's called for the foul, Gasol. Wallace did that little dance and run away. It was the same type of thing that Perkins did in the Orlando series, and he got hit with a technical. Official showing good restraint here. That's good defense by Rasheed Wallace. Hands straight up. But you're right. You guys got to be careful. Because running away after calls like that will cost you a technical foul. This is the free throw. But again, good restraint because, hey, it's the playoffs. It's a huge finals game. Give the guy the chance to express his emotion. He's obviously upset. And you missed the call. So don't compound it. We're calling a technical. It's all one for two. Five-point Laker lead, opening minute, fourth quarter. Game three of the NBA Finals. We've already had one road win in this series. Davis back to Rondo. Davis wants the ball against Odom. Odom's still taller than him. Davis pulls his way in and bounces it. What a tough move for Glenn Davis. 
Once again, great minutes from Glenn Davis. This is the closest they've been since the first quarter. The song. Now the song, the runner. Davis rips it down. He is energizing his team and the crowd. There goes Rondo. Tougher pass Davis. And an offensive foul. Farmar steps in and draws the charge. That's good defense by Jordan Farmar. Double high screen. Your job as the guard is to get back into the play. So rather than quitting on the play, he gets in position, takes the hit from Glenn Davis. A clear offensive foul, but you love the energy by Davis. Puts him in an isolation situation, and he attacks the body of Lamar Owen. That's the first Celtic turnover of the second half. They only had two turnovers in the second half of game two. Rondo deflects it, but it goes to Brown. Shannon Brown, the drive. Brian puts up a three. Rondo looks to push. Rondo to the basket, flips it up, banks it in. One point game. Timeout, Lakers. ESPN's presentation of the NBA Finals on ABC. Brought to you by the all-new 2011 Kia Sorento, official vehicle of the NBA. Big, stop searching, start deciding. With Big, the decision engine from Microsoft. And Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Resurgence Pack. Available now only on Xbox Live. Rated Mature. Early fourth quarter game three, Celtics trailing by as many as 17, have cut it to one, and getting huge play from their bench, and that's our Windows 7 winning combination. Give credit to the bench. Tony Allen, outstanding job, getting into the seams. Rasheed Wallace, a presence on the board, also scoring. Putting pressure again. Glenn Davis attacking the paint area. Isolation situations. You're talking about this bench playing stellar basketball. 14 of the last 16 Celtic points has the bench DNA all over. You know, coming into these playoffs, there was question marks about the bench. They had ups and downs during the regular season. Some said the bench in 08 was better, and they certainly had some big games. But this bench is starting to have some huge games as well. And let's face it, they have turned up the defense. The Lakers have 16 points in 15 and a half minutes. Brian tied up nicely by Tony Allen. He's going to have to force it up. Won't go. Good boxing out from Ray Allen. Here come the Celtics. And Fisher on a reach in. That's four fouls on Fisher. Boston ball. You got to give credit. Tony Allen is doing an outstanding job defending Kobe Bryant without fouling him. That's where you get in trouble. Staying down, staying down, and then does a good job of contesting. Great defense by Allen, not just on that possession, but he has made it hard for Bryant. And he's influencing Bryant to his left hand when he's up beyond the three-point line. It's Fisher. Offensive foul on Glenn Davis. No, well, they Ray, call Allen. Ray Allen. So Allen picks up his first, second, his second, and it's only the sixth turnover of the game for Boston. What a night it's been for Ray Allen after one of the great shooting performances in NBA Finals history. He's 0 for 11, and could tie the worst shooting performance in NBA Finals history, which is 0 for 14. Dennis Johnson, one of those who had it, he did it with Seattle. Fisher to the basket. Oh, tough drive from Derek Fisher. And the Lakers back up by three. But you know, Ray Allen's 0 for 11. I don't think he's going to turn a good open look down where a lot of guys look. Wallace for three. Buying him his ninth rebound. That's a good shot from Rasheed Wallace. He's a knockdown shooter. 
Had airspace, just couldn't knock it down. Yeah, what a difference the game makes. They're just 3 of 15 from downtown after lighting it up. 